my lovely, lovely imps, we have been following the tra the oh-so-tragic downfall of the worst person on the planet, Steven Crowder. Uh, I, I have, you know, uh, we all here should hopefully know um, why Steven Crowder is the worst person on the planet. But just in case you don't know, uh, Steven Crowder is not only uh, a completely insufferable person interpersonally. He treats everybody around him like hell. He has an army of abuse allegations, even from other conservatives. But also, he's horrifically racist and has published numerous explicitly racist uh, skits uh, and, and advocacy. But also, we've recently discovered uh, that there is a extremely credible, as in, as in a literally a literal recording of him berating and emotionally abusing his wife that was recently released. Uh, this was released following him lying about his the state of his divorce uh, publicly. Now, this whole saga has gotten messier and messier as things have gone on. And uh, of course, various conservative figures have taken the opportunity to insult uh, and go after Steven Crowder uh, because uh, they've said nice things about him in the past and they don't want to be associated with him anymore now that it's been revealed that he was screaming at his uh, 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 ex-wife while she was eight months pregnant with twins uh, to handle a dog chemotherapy which could have killed or deformed permanently their unborn children. There's the little rundown on why Steven Crowder is the most horrible person on the planet. Just so that you, uh, just so you can know what we're talking about. Anyway, in our ongoing coverage of Steven Crowder, uh, there has been an update. You see, uh, Steven Crowder released a statement about his divorce, uh, and then in a response, the family of his ex-wife released footage and a bunch of other information of him treating his wife horribly, which was contrary to what he said publicly. And now he has responded once again. So we're gonna watch his response real quick, uh, uh, which he publicly posted on social media, et cetera, et cetera. So without any further ado, let's listen to his response and hear what uh, Steven Crowder has to say for himself, shall we? I commented on my ongoing divorce on Tuesday. Request. Jeez, he's loud. His t his twitters are always really loud. Sing privacy in the best interest of the family, but also by court order agreed upon by all parties. Look, broken marriages are ugly, and in them people do ugly things. Myself, of course, included. I would never claim otherwise. However, due to recent. Keep in mind the ugliness he's referring to was him saying. Uh, that his wife was failing to be a worthy wife because she wouldn't uh, bend over to the ground to handle radioactive medicine uh, to give to the dog when he was sitting right there smoking a fat cigar. And then he pr proceeded to say she has no respect for men, that she's not wifely, and also that he hates her. And then he followed that up, or sorry, that he doesn't love her because she never treated him right. And then he proceeds to follow that up by saying, uh, by pursuing her and saying, I will fuck you up. Just so we are, uh, so we're all on the same page as to what he's talking about, the ugly things that he did. Misleadingly edited leaks to the tabloid press without context and not subject to consequences of the court. Well, if not... It was a five minute clip. How much more context do you need than a five minute clip? Privacy, the next best option is truth. So today, I have filed a motion to officially unseal all files as they relate to the matter of legal record. Finances, relevant medical records, including mental health history or evaluations, depositions, mm. and any- That's very interesting, isn't it? That's a very interesting move. Hmm. Emotions or sanctions from the courts of Texas. I will not be leaking private marital information to the press, but if the privacy agreements are not respected by all parties, I will address all that is a matter of irrefutable legal record in full context next week. I That's very, very interesting. That's super, super interesting. I wonder why he would specifically call out mental health 
uh, information that he is going to release to the public. Hmm. Could it possibly be that his angle is going to, to be to pitch to his deranged, uh, frothing conservative audience that is grossly misogynistic and try and say that she's crazy. She's just crazy and she drove him crazy and he was a poor, desperate man who needed to threaten to fuck her up because she was so crazy. Now, I, of course, am looking forward to him uh, attempting to wriggle his way out of this because, of course, this is desperation. This is what desperation looks like. He knows that there's a lot more stuff that can come out. And notice that he said that he will not be leaking private marital affairs, but only things that have been discussed so far in court, which means he's trying to get out ahead by releasing what he's legally allowed to because he doesn't know what hasn't been discussed in court that might still come out on him. We That ring camera might have had even more videos of him being atrociously abusive to his wife. We have no idea what to expect. And I'm not gonna lie, this is the type of behavior that you do when you're panicking. When you say, I'm gonna release your mental health history to try and smear you. Now, I wanna remind you, just so you know, even with uh, the, uh, uh, the family leaking that, or whoever leaked, I don't know if it was the family that leaked the recording. Somebody leaked the recording. Pr presumably somebody close to him uh, who got that recording from the ring camera. Somebody leaked it. Whoever leaked that, even when they leaked it to the press, they still did not have access to the same amount of platform that Steven Crowder is currently engaging in. Steven Crowder, after basically saying that his wife shouldn't be allowed to divorce him and that she is doing a horrible, horrible thing uh, and that he loves his kids more than he'll ever love her, uh, is now using his platform to create a harassment campaign to create a targeting campaign against his ex-wife. Now, I wanna note something. His wife didn't release the video. His wife didn't release a statement. It wasn't his wife. The statement was from members of his wife's family who explicitly stated that she didn't ask them to do that. So now he's sicking his insanely large, uh, his, his YouTube following is 5.4 million people. He's going to be releasing her private medical information to a massive mob of deranged people who've been listening to him talk about how uh, women need to be put in their place for the last five years. People in chat are saying that they, they've had people in their family engage in this type of behavior against other family members. Yeah, it's typical. Unfortunately, it's literally bog standard. Uh, trying to make a woman look crazy so that you can distract from and or justify the abuse. And the worst part is a lot of conservatives are going to totally agree. A lot of conservatives, just like I've said through this entire saga, are going to 100% agree with this, and they're actually going to go, based Steven, yeah, based Steven Crowder, look at that crazy bitch wife. However, just knowing Steven Crowder, and just knowing the type of strategic uh, intelligence that Steven Crowder doesn't really have, um... I'm gonna say that I think that he's afraid that there's worse and more incriminating footage than, than that one. And that one was already very bad for him. I cannot imagine that even among conservatives that that video came off very well. Although, of course, many conservative popu uh, talking heads were doubling down and still siding with Crowder on it. There's still a lot of people, even, even if there's a lot of conservatives who are totally fine with that type of behavior, which is deranged, there are also some conservatives who are not okay with that type of behavior. And I imagine that, it, that there is going to be more that he's trying to get ahead of. Uh, a absolutely filthy tactic from Steven Crowder, um, but of course, not unexpected. Uh, 
uh, of the moment that he came forward about his divorce, it became, it was obvious that this was going to be, and he explicitly said that it's been a, a extremely messy and extremely painful divorce. I have a feeling that this is going to go absolutely off the rails. So we're going to be, of course, following the downfall of Steven Crowder update by update as it happens. Um, and also, I'm going to continue to remind people that this, what we saw in that video, Steven Crowder telling his wife that she's not worthy of him because she wouldn't do one chore, uh, Steven Crowder controlling his wife's ability to leave the house, pursuing her and telling her, I will fuck you up, repeatedly saying that you're not wifely, you're not being submissive, you need to have discipline and respect for a man. Um, that is what conservatives believe in. That even, even the conservatives who are grossed out to see this type of behavior, their worldview, the worldview that they fight for and that they support, the people that they back with their money and their time, that is the world that they fight for. They fight for a world where men are in the right to say that their wife isn't worthy because she isn't completely submissive at all times. I've talked about this a lot, that conservatism is a absolutely poisonous ideology for women. I'm going to continue talking about it because I need people to understand this and I need people to see with their own eyes exactly how this stuff plays out. It's no surprise that he used conservative Christian rhetoric in bludgeoning his wife, in treating her like shit, that, these, that this rhetoric finds its way even into their private conversations. Of course it does. It's a worldview. They are professing a worldview in which women are to be subjugated. However, all of that's very dark. So we're gonna take just a brief moment here. This is just a small, crowder, disgusting, conservative divorce update. But we're gonna take a moment and we're gonna watch a very prophetic clip. Okay, everybody? Because I don't think most people know just how prophetic this was, okay? But it was. So join me, okay? As we watch Prophecy in Action. Oh, oh there he is! Oh no, Sam Cedar! What a what, what a fucking nightmare! Look into your feet. Hey! Hey! What the? Hey! Is... Oh no, Sam Cedar! What a what, what a fucking nightmare! Look into your future, Stephen. This is where it all starts to come apart for you. It's true. Sam was right. That moment was where it all started to come apart. That debate. It was the crack. And from there, it's just unwinded in rapid time. Oh no, Sam Cedar, what a nightmare. It's true though. It was one it was it was a total crack in his public appearance in front of his own audience. His own audience. It was the shattering but for Crowder, true. The ring clip happened only four days after the Sam Cedar incident? For real? I didn't even know that the dates were that close. Is that true? Hold on, when was the Sam Cedar? That would have been June 21, 2021. Oh my God. Oh my God, it might have actually, hold on, it might actually literally be. Hold on, let's see, when was the date of this video? Let me double check, I'm double checking right now, I need to see this. Hold on. This video was from when? Oh my God, it was in June. June 26th, the debate happened on June 21st. It was five days after. 
Holy shit, it literally was. The ring camera video of him berating his wife was just five days after the debate with Sam Cedar. Holy shit. It shattered his mind. He got, he slipped up. Holy fuck. I can't even believe it. <sighs> Too clever by half says I'm guarant I guarantee you that there's worse videos out there. Yeah, I I would be shocked if there aren't even worse videos coming out in the future. It would blow, it would be, I would be completely shocked if there wasn't other videos that get released. Uh, he's clearly deciding to engage in a very public, um, in a very public uh, harassment uh, back and forth here. This is his tactic. His tactic is that he's going to use his platform uh, to basically ruin her life. It's really clear. Releasing someone's medical, mental health history uh, because someone else leaked a video of you being a piece of shit is uh, undeniably there's only one there's only one reason you do that and that's to create a harassment campaign and just for the record uh, I think it's absolutely terrible and unbelievably horrible that he's choosing this route but no one here has a choice in that all we can do is uh, is react to it take pleasure in Steven's downfall, and also make sure that every single person uh, in the news space sees just how much of a piece of shit Steven Crowder is. So hopefully people, so that hopefully he will lose his platform and his entire future as a broadcaster, but also so that other people won't back people like him ever again. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, smack the like button. Press subscribe, ring the bell, and don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about all this. Thank you very much.